The old-fashioned cocktail is so old that a hundred years ago they still called it an old-fashioned. A lot of classic cocktails were invented in the 19th century, we're talking 18th century. So it's definitely earned its name. We're going to start with two ounces of rye whiskey. Rye, not bourbon in this case, because I think it tastes better. Bourbon's a little sweeter. And rye is also what they used back in the 19th century. It was much more popular then. For our sweetener, we're going to use a little bit of simple syrup. You can also muddle a sugar cube if you want. I just think this mix is better. Just a bar spoon of that. Not too much or it's going to get way too sweet. And two dashes of Angostura bitters and two dashes of orange bitters, which are a little harder to find, but they are available at some specialty stores and I think they're really important in making a great old fashioned. You can make a good old fashioned without them, two dashes, but not a great one, for my money anyway. Now you notice I'm not gonna muddle anything in this drink. I'm just gonna stir it the way it is right now. The muddling of the orange and the cherry was something that came about in the 20th century, in the 50s, uh, post-prohibition. A lot of stuff got changed around in Prohibition. People forgot how to make certain drinks, tastes changed. So I'm not saying that's a bad drink. I just don't think that's the most classic way to make it and I prefer it this way. So we're stirring it the way it is. All right, let's get our ice. And I'm gonna get my frozen glass and the old fashioned is served on the rocks and because it's all spirit, and we're gonna sip this drink. It's a really stiff drink. We don't like those ice cubes to be really small because they melt really fast, they dilute the drink too much. Give it a nice stir there. So, what I did was I took a muffin tin and I put some water in that and made these big giant ice cubes so it keeps the drink cold, but it doesn't dilute it too much, it doesn't get too watery. The perfect balance of both worlds. All right, let me grab that ice. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. All right. Should be good enough. And now we're gonna garnish this as we strain it over our nice hockey puck with a lemon peel and an orange peel. That's the only fruit I'm gonna put in this. I think maybe that's how the orange and cherry muddling thing started to uh, make its way into an old fashioned. They used to put peels on them and then maybe people started putting the whole fruit in them. I don't know, not recommended. So holding the pith towards us, the white part towards us and just squeezing gently the oils out into the glass. There goes the lemon, let me drop them in there. And there you go. It may not be how Don Draper makes it, but it's probably how George Washington did the classic old-fashioned.